Live. I think we're going. Are we live? We're live. All right, hit it. Good, baby, baby. Oh. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumber. Episode one. Here we go. Okay. Hey everybody. Welcome to the first live stream of my new talk show, It Was All a Stream. It's a real pleasure to have you on tonight, today, wherever you're at in the world. It's morning for me, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just waking up, but um, how are you guys doing? Is anyone out there? Is anyone watching? Uh, bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. Somebody, somebody show, me a, show me a sign of life. So no, I'm not doing this all in vain. Um, you know, I never had my own TV show, so uh, I don't know what the ins and outs are for viewership, but uh, and how to re retain viewers. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Oh yeah, there's people coming out. Good morning, DJ. How are you doing? Where are you at in the world? Hi, Valeria. Yep, I'm reading that right. Um, so I decided I'd, I'd just start making a show. Oh, you're from Italy? Oh my gosh. I'm so, uh, my heart goes out to you right now, Valeria. Um, I know that Italy is the epicenter, so I wanna thank you for being here. Um, yeah, I was just in Italy a couple of months ago. Uh, I've been there a few times and I just, I love it there, but it is such a bad situation. You're right. Hmm. Well, I wonder if there's a song I can play that will, um, help mitigate this a little bit. <laughs> This situation help uh, make it a little more tolerable. Been looking forward to this moment since last week. Oh, nice. Well, thanks for tuning in, DJ. It's really a, it's a pleasure to have you on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a this is a little TV show for the masses, uh, or a little like conversation, really. Um, hoping it gets better with some strict measures. I, it will. I, I I think it will. I think. Uh, I think Italy's taking it very seriously and um, from what I've seen, from what I've been hearing, um, it is on lockdown and it's just a matter of waiting it out at this point. But uh, yeah. yeah, I love Italy. My heart goes out to you, anyone in Italy right now, so. Um, Well, I guess I'll do a song. Um, yeah. I'll do a song for y'all. We are in need of it. Yep. Yeah. I am in my bathtub. Um, it, it has the best acoustics in this place. So, just trying to take advantage of that. from Taiwan. Nice to have you here. Thanks for joining. Um, chance we could hear milk and water. Whoa, that's a cool request. I think we could do milk and water, yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sweden. Hi Sophia, thanks for thanks for being here. Um, I'm gonna lower this. I feel like there's a lot that you can't see, like my guitar. I think that's important. You need to see this guitar. This is my favorite guitar, and you need to see that I'm in a bathtub. Manhattan. Okay. 
See if I can remember this. I haven't sung this in a while, but let's see how it goes. You were born in milk and water Under a quiet southern sky You cried out with all your questions Yeah, I wasn't sure if I remember all the words, but here we go. Because before you come A big time. <laughs> you know it's gone before, it's gone before, it's gone before you knew you were always in my past. So I get lost in the feeling. Song's called Milk and Water, um, and it's uh, a song I released a couple years ago on an album from 2016. Oh, thanks, Valeria. I forgot the lyrics on uh, first verse, but that's normal, especially since it's 9 a.m. right now in Canada, and I stay up late. So, thanks, DJ. Appreciate it, man. Um, Oh, thanks, Barbara. Um, so 
This thing is... Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Simmons. I really appreciate it. Really do. Morning, Dwayne. Um, <laughs> new music alert, coronavirus. <laughs> Volume one. Real mixtape is lit. Hey, thank you. Um, what else can I say right now? Oh, yeah. I want to talk about doing this every week. This. It was all a stream. It's going to be a weekly thing. Um, and I'm just going to play songs, answer questions. Um, hopefully create some community in the world around um, what's going on and, and around music and, and just things that I, I think that we probably all have in common right now. So I just want this to be a place where people can do that. And uh, yeah. So, so let's make it that. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking and, and uh, where your heads are at. Because um, I'm in this with you. We're all in this together. <laughs> We're all experiencing this, you know, uh, this quarantining life. And uh, we need to... We need to be uh, a band of brethren and sistering. What was your... What would you say was the highlight from your last tour? Thank you for doing this. Well, I went on a tour through Canada, this last tour, and uh, one of the highlights I would say was um, was our show in Winnipeg was a highlight. Um, so was Vancouver. Hey, Cameron. Um, you're welcome. Where are you actually based? Vancouver. I mean, based in Van in Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the the highlight from tour was just uh, I think having such a an amazing audience. I mean, all the audiences were incredible across the country. We had such amazing, it's such an amazing time. But I think the best the best venue experience. This last tour was in Winnipeg, and I say that because it was the first time I played this one venue that I've always wanted to play, and it's called uh, the West End Cultural Center. And for me, it was a it was an important uh, venue. Just it was like one of those when you, when you first start doing something, and you see bands play uh, at, at at a venue, and and you watch them on stage, and you you kind of like put yourself in their shoes. Well, I did that years and years ago, well, ten years ago. And I finally got to play on that stage, so. And it was a, a, a big show. It was, a, it was one of the biggest shows of the tour, so. To have that was, uh, was amazing. Um, hey, Sandra, from Germany. Um, you're welcome, David. Uh, I'm glad I get to do this. This is a, this is a really cool new experience for me. <laughs> What's new? What is new? Oh, I've been recording. Could you play a Saw You? Yeah, I could play a Saw You. Speaking of a Saw You, I, I did a, I did like a little live performance. Well, not live, but I went out in the woods in BC and I played, uh, and I played uh, a few songs and recorded them on a nice camera. And so we're going to release those in the, in the coming weeks. Um, but I saw you as one of them. Um, that's been kind of fun. I, it's been interesting as a musician who tours. I tour. I do tour quite a bit, and that's where I I, I like generate income, and that's kind of how how I make this a job. But when that's taken from you and you can't you can't do it, you have to. That's this is how I know I'm a musician is is that I'm finding new ways to just do what I've always been doing. It's just. I, the audience looks like a phone. <laughs> it, is, it is a phone now. So I have to, you just, you sh I'm shifting gears and like trying to find new ways to, to connect with an audience musically and, and, and personally too. I mean, this is, you know, I think we're all looking for some sort of connection in this time. And, and I've never really been the most like socially connected on the internet, but 
I'm really, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I, I do miss social time in real life, but I'm, I am enjoying this like, this worldwide phenomenon that we, that we can have a conversation. This is amazing to me, so. Um, okay, I'm gonna play, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking too much. Hey, what is you doing music? Is it always on your own? Uh, I started playing music when I was five. Um, and uh, I have a dad who was a gospel singer. And my parents put me in piano young, and then as I progressed, I started playing guitar as well as piano and uh, joined a band and started singing in junior high, high school, and then uh, joined a choir. And yeah, and then, uh, and then I kept going with it. I've always been playing alone, uh, solo, but now I, I kind of have a band that I tour with um, that are uh, a really good group of friends. So, uh, yeah. So this song is called I Saw You. And it's kind of sad. Hold on. Ooh, I got filters. Oh, hold on a sec. Whoa. Okay, this is too much. Sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. But one more. I like that one. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I'm figuring out all the lot. This is my first show. It's my first episode. Again, thank you for tuning in. Um, this song's kind of sad, but uh, but I, I like it. I like it, and I, it means a lot. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that have heard it, and it means something to them too. So if you're one of those people, I hope it uh, touches you in some way. And hopefully in a positive way. <laughs> this is where it ends and this is where we part. You asked me for a mile but only gave a yard. I tried to pull you in, you pushed me to the wall Walk me to the edge and let me take the fall I come apart as we say goodbye Feel the shock, take me by surprise I lie awake, wonder if you change your mind Keep me up in the night You keep me out in the streets No matter how much I carve away the pain You fill the memories Was it something I said? Or was it something I done? I got so tired of all the pain Thought it was gone And I saw you ooh, 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 ooh. And then I saw you ooh, 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 ooh. Just when I was getting back up on my feet Your image fading out no longer on repeat Oh 